Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I recently dropped my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder Foundation and was heartbroken when it crumbled into a million pieces. It was still pretty new and I was determined to repair it, so I've seen a few different tutorials online but was hesitant to add alcohol or any other liquid in fear of ruining the formula, but I came across Makeup Tips by Guillotis channel, I hope I said her name properly, and she had a video showing you how to repair a broken compact with zero alcohol or other additives. If you have a broken powder, bronzer, highlighter, eyeshadow, or any other powdered makeup, keep watching to see how easy it is to repair. To begin, we're going to set the compact down and use the end of a makeup brush or another similar tool to break up any remaining large chunks. I'm using the end of a Kat Von D powder brush and it's working really well. We want the product to resemble as much of a powder as possible. When we've broken everything up, we're gonna pour all of the powder into a Ziploc bag. I would recommend doing all of this on top of a paper towel or a piece of newspaper because it does get a little bit messy. Once all of the powder has been added to the bag, lay the bag flat and make sure that all of the air is removed before sealing it up. From here, you're gonna grab something with a flat or rounded edge that's about the size of a quarter. The top of this Charlotte Tilbury foundation was perfect. Use it to glide over the Ziploc bag and continue to pulverize the powder until it is as fine as possible. Don't rush through this process, really take your time. When you're done, grab your empty compact. I'm gonna take this into the bathroom to rinse it out real quick so that it is good as new. And then I'm gonna place it back onto my paper towel. From here, we're gonna carefully pour the contents of the bag back into the compact pan. I was able to get most of the product out, but I did have some trouble with the last bit, so I snipped the corner of the bag so that it could easily slide out the bottom. I'd actually recommend doing this from the start. It's just a smoother, cleaner, easier way to do it. Once all of the powder is in the compact, grab your initial tool and spread it out as evenly as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just really taking my time here. I don't want it to overflow off the edges, trying to keep as much of the product in the pan as possible. When it looks good to you, when it's pretty even, you're gonna use your fingertips to lightly press on the powder. Just very, very gently, you're going to pat it down. You wanna to try to stay away from the edges and focus the pressure primarily in the center. Once it has all been pressed, grab a tissue and carefully place it on top of the powder. From here, you're gonna use your fingers and gently press the makeup into the compact with a little more force. So working from the center out towards the edges, you're gonna apply a bit of pressure so that the makeup is really, really packed in there. You wanna do this for a few minutes. I cut and sped up this footage a little bit, but I would say I spent about three full minutes setting this powder back into place. Now, Guillotti explains that you don't need to add water or alcohol or anything because there is already bonding agents in the powder. So once it's finely milled and put back together, it's gonna have no problem sticking and becoming a solid compact again. After it feels like everything is set and smooth, remove the tissue to reveal your completely repaired compact. A little bit of powder made its way onto the edges, so I used the tissue to clean it up a little bit, which was no big deal. And then from here, we tested it. So we're gonna flip the compact over face down so that the powder side is on the paper towel and lightly tap the back to make sure that all of the product is locked in and there's no additional fallout. So this was the final test, and as you can see, there was nothing that came out of the compact. The little bit of powder on the tissue was from that powder that got stuck on the edges, but you can see in the middle, nothing came out. This compact is basically brand new, ready to use. I am so shocked that this worked. I am so happy I was able to repair this. This is such a great product if you're looking for a great everyday mineral makeup. Thank you so much to Guillotti for sharing her tutorial. All the credit goes to her. I was thrilled to be able to put it to the test and see that it actually work. If you want to give this a try at home, let me know how it works out for you in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!